Hello. All right. It's been a long time since I've had something like this. Or done a video on a cassette recorder. Haven't had any new ones. Um, this one... Um, basically, my friend, um, my friend's boss, I think it is, or one of his co-workers, um, asked him if he knew anybody who knew anything about cassette recorders, and Tim's like, yeah, and mentioned me, so he took it and said to give it to me to see if I can do anything about it, She's, because she said it didn't work. So, this is, I'm not very well inclined, or, I mean, I kind of suck at fixing these, so I'm nowhere near, you know, the capabilities of Cassette Master and, like, Clyde Sight and them, so, but, I'm going to, I haven't even done anything to this yet. All I did is I put batteries in it because it did have batteries in it, some Duracells, but the date on it is January 2001, and that's the Best Buy date. So these are these came from the 90s, but and they were still in it, and no corrosion or anything on them. So bully for that. Um, so we're gonna find out together what is going on so here we go make sure it's on the play mode oh by the way this is the general electric model 3-5151b and it's from about the 80s um, go ahead and give a quick tour we got the record and play, and I'm gonna assume it's one touch recording. Um, because they're together on the keyboard here. Rewind, fast forward, stop, eject. I wasn't looking at the camera, so I'm. <laughs> um, an electric switch for pause. Don't know if it's one of those that kills the power to the entire thing or just kills the power to the motor. I'm going to assume it just kills the power to the motor because um, that's how general electrics tend to be. In my experience, like my other ones, like my um, 3-5105C and F are like that. I don't know. Of course, Cassette Master, feel free, or anybody like that. If I'm wrong, say so in comments. I don't care. I could use the help. Uh, <laughs> um, I did see Cassette Master's video on this, where he was trying to figure out a song that he liked, which turned out to be I Don't Want to Go On With, with, with You Like That by Elton John. But, um, as he said, it's a very nice recorder, and it is. I mean, three-way power cassette recorder. I mean, it's a nice-looking recorder. I mean, it's got some issues, like a sticker was on there or whatever. It's got quite dirty. It got the wood grain like mock on it. Nice looking. But there's your AC in, six volts DC in, earphone slash speaker, and it doesn't say any ohms for it. I'm assuming probably eight ohms. Microphone and remote, tone control, volume control. There's nothing over here, nothing back, nothing except for the battery co cover. And let's see here 31 3-5151B. Kind of hard to see. But heck, using this phone over my camera shows up better than what the camera would have done. So, okay. So, here we go. We'll just kind of see what happens. Pop her open real quick. So, I'll play. It's working. It's turning. Ooh, yeah, that 
power switch needs to be sprayed, or I mean the volume switch, dirty, needs some WD-40 in her. I hear the motor, but I don't hear any sound in the coming from the speaker. I think it's just because it's super dirty and not even allowing the amplifier hiss to go through. So, okay, um, not fully prepared for this, um, pause the video here real quick so I can grab a cassette. Okay, uh, <laughs> I reached into a box of my spare copies of cassettes that I have of pre-recorded, and <laughs> it's just, it's funny to me because cassette I grabbed happened to be Elton John's The Red Strikes Back album which happens to have I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That so Cassette Master there's a laugh for you uh, there it is I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That of course it's fully rewound but okay pop it in give it a play See if I can get any noise by jostling the volume. There it goes. It works fine. Well, for play, that is. Rewind's good. Fast forward's good. I mean, for, you know, <laughs> General Electric, I mean, the belt, belt, or belts, might be wearing, uh, but. Actually, I think the belts are fine, because it's dead on speed, and I can tell by my hearing, because I, well, it's an Elton John song, I know it. I know how it should sound, so. There is no cue or review, it just is straight fast forward or rewind. Okay, so I will rewind it back and uh, I'll do a quick pause on the camera here so I can switch and find a blank cassette and we'll try recording. Okay, um, getting ready to do a record. It is not one touch recording, you have to press them both at the same time or I mean, you know, you can do that, and then, you know, but not one touch. I mean, together, so it's, um, I mean, kind of, you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm using my foot to kind of prop it up a bit. <laughs> but, okay, so here we go. We're going to do a test recording. So, here we go. Testing. Testing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Testing the General Electric model number 3-5151B cassette recorder. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. End of test. Okay. I'll find out about the... Pause. Nope, kills the whole system. Testing the General Electric model number 3-5151B cassette recorder. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. End of test. Okay. It is working just fine. Um, so I guess I got good news for the girl. Um, I would do a test with the external microphone, but... I honestly don't know where it is, or my little uh, connectors were 
I can rig it so it'll actually fit into there because it's that odd size. If you go back and see my video that's titled Sony F96 Microphone Question Mark. Um, where I was making fun, you know, it was badged, I bought it badged as a Sony F96 and it was in an F96 case, but it wasn't an F96. So, but yeah, if I could find it, I mean, if they were handy, I would go ahead and do an external test, but I mean, not bad sounding for DC bias. It's actually pretty decent, and it's really strong, too. So... Well, that's it for this cassette recorder. Um, I'm not going to rip it open because I don't need to. Because I don't want to screw anything up. I almost said the F word. <laughs> I censored myself. That's a rarity. Um, but because it's not mine. So, and there's nothing wrong with it. So there's no need for me to t get into it. So I'm not going to. Now, if there was something wrong and I needed to get in to check something, yeah, then I would record that for you, but I'm not going to. So, well, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know how long it's going to be before I can do another cassette recorder video because, well, I haven't, made, I haven't really ran into any or anything like that. And you've seen all the ones that I do actually own myself. So, but plus note, uh, plus side. I'm going to have a very happy person to know that this actually works. I think she honestly didn't pay attention. I mean, these batteries look like they're brand new almost. I mean, they look good. Didn't pay attention. She just figured, you know, she's putting good batteries in it. And it just didn't work. Because of dead batteries. Which, I mean, understandable. I mean, hell, I would have... I mean, me, I would have looked, you know, and saw all that and be like, well, they're probably dead. But... I mean, understandable mistake, so she'll probably be really happy, which will make me happy. So, well, until my next video, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and see you later.